What's going on, everyone? Let me know where you're tuning in from, city and state. If you're tuning in from outside this great nation, let me know, country, region, province. Okay, something else I want to share, a lesson that I think you will really enjoy and that many of you need to hear, and I learned something from it myself today. Once again, on the mats from jujitsu. This is not a jujitsu lesson, but it's a tip. It's a life tip that I happened to pick up. So this morning we we're doing a drill, and we we're doing this move where you kind of flip your partner over. It's called a sweep. And I had landed in this position where I didn't know what to do. And my professor, who's a master, of course, is watching and I kept landing in this position and I was getting frustrated because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to finish the submission. And after I did it probably five or six times, he said, you're, you end up in the position and you're holding on to the opponent's arm and their other arm is kind of over here, but you, you, you land and you have two hands on their one arm but you're not in a position to do something with that arm. So I kept landing in that position with both hands on that one arm, saying, "What? what you know, I, I can't figure out what to do here. I'm just not at the right angle, whatever. And then he showed me that I was ignoring the other arm that was literally just a few inches away from me that happened to be in the perfect position to do the submission. In life, so many times when we end up in a situation where we have a problem, we are so gripped by what is in front of our face. We're holding on to that thing because it's there. It's right in front of us. This must be the solution to our problem. This thing I'm holding on to in front of me. It has to be. I just have to figure out how to make this work because I'm holding on to it. I got two hands on it and I'm trying to figure out how to do this submission, this arm bar. And the reality is sometimes the solution is just a few inches away. Just to the left of me or just to the right of me was the other arm that was in the perfect position. But I wasn't looking there, one, because I didn't have a hold of it. Two, I wasn't thinking that's my way to finish this submission. So I was blind to it. I was cognitively blind to the solution to my problem that was literally just a few inches away from me because I was so focused on holding on to the thing that I had and thinking this has to be the way. It has to be through this arm I have over here because I don't have that other arm so it can't be that arm. It has to be this one. I struggled with that a long time ago in life with something. I was so gripped by something and I was holding on to it because that's what I knew. That's all I knew. Sometimes we hold on to someone in our lives or something in our lives and we hold on to it so tight because that's what we know so well, or that's what we have that grip on that gives us comfort. And so we hold on to it, and we hold on to it, and we try to figure our way through the problem, through the issue, to take care of the concern, solve the problem, by holding on to that thing we have that tight grip on. But the reality is, and some of you have felt this, so many times, the solution to get us out of that situation, to put us in a better situation, the solution to that problem is right over here. We just have to open up our eyes and look outside of the thing we're holding on to and look around us. Sometimes it's right next to us. Sometimes it's right in our same household. Sometimes it's right in our same workplace. Sometimes it's right next door to us, our neighbors, our friends, some way out of this thing we're gripped with. But so many of us hold on to the damn thing that is actually killing us because we just say it has, we got to be able to fix it through this thing we're holding on to. It's what we know. It's what we've known for so long. We're, we're comfortable with it. It's familiar. So we try to fight and fight and fight. And we will sometimes spend weeks, months, or years fighting, holding on to that thing that we should let go of. 
and switch our focus because that solution might be right there next to us. We never know where it's going to come from. We never know who it's going to be, what it's going to be. But if you are so blinded and so gripped by the thing you're holding on to that you believe is the solution, that you believe is the right thing to do, the right thing to hold on to, the right person to hold on to, you will ultimately fail and you will ultimately not be able to get out of that situation. Not always, but many times. If you've tried for long enough, holding on and holding on and holding on, how long are you going to hold on for? I've seen people hold on to the wrong person for years. I've seen people hold on to the wrong job for years. Because it's just familiar. They know it. And that's not the way. So like today, in class, when I went through this situation, I found out that the solution to my problem was right there. I just had to take my... I literally... I literally had to take my hands off the arm that I had that I'd been fighting with to try to figure out for the first 30, 40 minutes of class. I had to let it go. And it was scary because when you're fighting somebody and you have two hand grip on one of their arms with your whole body and you're like, I'm in a position of power here. I'm in position of control. It felt good. It felt good to hold that opponent's arm because I felt like they couldn't move and I had a good grip on him. But the reality was that's all I had. I didn't have anything else except that firm grip. I wasn't able to submit, submit him. I was not going to be able to defeat him. So he was in a compromised position where I was just holding his arm, but he knew I couldn't submit him. I could not win. So I was just holding on. So it's hard for me in that situation to let go of that arm because that grip I had on him, that control I had, it felt good. It felt really good. But I had to let go. I had to let go and switch my focus to that other arm that I didn't have a grip on that was in a position that I could easily reach and within a second, because of the angle, Grip that arm, grip that hand, and submit him and win the fight. But it took so much for me to let go of that grip that felt so good, that made me feel like I had so much control over him. I had to release that. I had to let go and go after the thing that I had no control of, but was easy. It was the easier f way to win the fight. So when you are looking at things in life, look at what you are currently holding on to so tight in life that's not helping you, but you're holding on to it tight because it's giving you comfort, maybe a sense of security. So you're holding on tight, but you know it's not getting you anywhere. Maybe you've been holding on for months. Some of you have been holding on for years. And it's just not getting you anywhere. You're not advancing. You're not achieving your ultimate ambition. Find what that thing is. Name it. Declare it. And then, before you let go, before you let go, look. Look around you and think about what else might be there for you. That's an opportunity that will let you achieve your goal will get you to your ultimate ambition. And when you notice it, make the plan and then let go and go for it. Because that is how you win. That is how you win the fight. That's how you win in life. When you recognize what you need to let go of, recognize the thing you're holding on to so near and dear, because of comfort and familiarity, but it's the thing you have to let go. And you can't take advantage of the other situation that's literally right next to you until you let go. I had to let go of that arm so my hands were free to get to that opponent's other arm and put on the submission. You have to let go of that person, place, 
job thing, whatever it is. So you're free to move and get to that other opportunity that will lead you to where you want to go. That's the only way it will happen. So think about that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you check out all the new stuff coming out at 221btactical.com because we've got some new stuff for spring that is pretty cool that is also going very fast. We, As you guys know, we do single runs, a lot of stuff we don't replenish. Once it's gone, it's gone. So check that out, keeping you safe and comfortable every day in your everyday life. So check that out. Let me know what you think of what I shared in this video. Leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And share this video. That's the most important thing. Share if you think this is a valuable lesson. Maybe you want to show it to uh, a young one in your world uh, that's struggling with someone or maybe a, a spouse, partner, coworker, whatever it might be. So share this video as well. Lots of new stuff on the YouTube channel, so check that out as well. Love you guys. Speak to you soon. Be safe.